So now that we're able to protect an API, let's create some authorized users that will be able to use that protected API. So the first step for that is we need to set up our database where we could store new users. And we're going to be using something called Identity DB Context. This will create us a bunch of new tables. One of those tables are going to be where we could store our users. So we'll go into the application DB context, refactor that to use the identity DB context. We'll do that first. So the application DB context is located inside the core project, inside of the data folder and the application DB context. This is what you want to open. And in here, we're only going to be making one change. We're going to be changing the DB context to identity DB context. And if we bring that in, we want to bring that in from Microsoft ASP.NET Core Identity Entity Framework Core. So I want to bring this in. And this is going to give us a whole bunch of more tables inside of our database when we do our migration. Now let's make sure that our application DB context is being pulled into our startup class. So inside of the API, open up the startup. And I already configured it within the startup class. So here we're pulling in our application DB context and we're pulling in our configurations for our database connection. Now, if you're not interested in SQLite, you could always use SQL Server, and I already configured that and pulled in the packages for that. So all you need to do here is uncomment this, and then set up your connection string, and that would be inside of the app settings. I'll reopen that up, and that would be right here. So if you're using SQL Server, you just want to change this to whatever your SQL Server connection is, and then implement this, and comment this out, the SQLite. But in this case, I'm going to be using SQLite, so I'm just going to go ahead and comment this out again. And we're using the add DB context, and here's our application DB context as a type I'm passing in. And SQLite, if you're not familiar with SQLite, I already made a couple of videos on how to set up SQLite. Also, I showed you how to use an extension within Visual Studio Code using SQLite. And if you're interested in watching those videos, that will show up up here in the top right corner. Now that we set up our application DB context, we can save this. And then we double check to make sure that it's being pulled into our startup class, our, our application DB context. So this is uh, good. Now we're ready to do our migration. To run a migration, we want to make sure we have a NuGet package installed. So we'll double check that. I already have it installed in this project. But if you're working in another project, let's say you're not following along with this course with the project that was supplied to you. Let's say you're doing it within your own project. I just want to make sure you're installing the entity framework package. So we'll check that. And also I'm going to be running a few commands within the command line. If you don't feel like typing all of them out or if you're having any problems, troubles, just click on the snippets link right here and click on this. And this will send you to a snippets page. And here is the commands that I'm going to be running within the command line to do our migration. Also, this is the package that you want to make sure you install. Like I'm currently working with version 3.1, but you might be working with a different version. And if you get these versions wrong, you might be running into some problems. So you want to make sure you have the correct version for your project. So you want to make sure you install this package if you don't already have it installed. So let's go ahead and run this command within the command line. So the first thing we'll do is we'll check to make sure that we're bringing in our package. So inside of our core file, and open up the main core project file. And here we're pulling in this package right here. So you wanna double check this to make sure you're bringing in this package. And also you're bringing in the right version. If you're not following along with this project, if you're following along with your own project, make sure you have the correct versions. This is very important as well. So now that we double check to make sure that we have our package being pulled in, now we're ready to do our migration. So if I open up the command line, and you want to make sure you run this command from the root, not from within the API. So I'll go back a directory and I'll paste it in that snippet I got off our snippets page. So we're calling on entity framework. We're going to add a new migration. And then I'm going to call it init. The project is going to be core. And then the output is going to be within the data folder within the migrations folder. If we go back inside of our data folder, Here's our migration folder. So it's gonna put all of our brand new migrations within this folder. So let's go ahead and run this command. So we just successfully created a migration and now we should have within our migrations folder, a few migrations. So that's good. 
So let's go ahead and update the database now. So I'll clear this out and I'll paste in another snippet and this is gonna update our database with our new migration. Go ahead and hit enter. And we just successfully updated our database. So if I close this down, close this down and this, and now let's check out our database. So if we go back into our project and inside the API folder, and you should see the database called app.db right here. So to open this up, I'm going to use an extension within Visual Studio Code. And I said this earlier, but if you're interested in using the same extension, I created a video on how to use this extension. And if you click on the white button up here on the right corner, you'll go to a playlist on how to use this extension. And the extension is called SQLite, and it's made by Alex CVZZ. So this is the extension that I'm going to be using uh, to check out this database. So if we close this back down, and if you hit Control Shift P, and if you're using this extension, you want to search SQLite, and then Open Database, and then select the database you want to open. In this case, it already knows about the app DB we have within our file directory. So let's select that. Then go into the Explorer and you should see a window within your Explorer called SQLite Explorer. If you do not see this, just click on this and make sure you have it enabled. So let's go ahead and check out our database now. So I'm going to open up the database and here are a bunch of tables now that are given to us by using that identity DB context we set up within here. So now that we set this up, we have all these tables that we could use now. And now we have a place to start storing our users. Now we're ready to move on to video three. And what we're going to do now is start registering new users using identity. We're going to be working on the back end, the API. And we're going to be using the user manager that identity gives us to create new users. And we'll do that next.